Reflecting back. January the 6th? Yeah. Wow, we were all here. Well, my desk is right behind McConnell's, or Schumer's desk is like close to me as Blair. We saw the vice president abruptly move. You're looking right up. You know, we're going through the seating of uh, getting the presidential race out of the way, which I voted to, to do, you know, move on with it. And all at once I see the vice president move out. And I thought, well, I wonder if the president's called him or something. Mm -hmm. Nobody told us that. 20, 30 seconds later, I think it was the FBI SWAT team came in real abruptly. The doors open. See, we were quiet where we were. I, he's right there this close to my desk putting his machine gun together. Mm -hmm. He said, get down. Get down. Everybody get down. The FBI I said, wow, what the hell's going on? Wow. Everybody else? So we, I didn't get down on the floor, but I got stuck down. I'm tall, you know. Mm -hmm. So I thought, Wow, I knew it was real then. And then, then you could hear the commotion. Mm -hmm. And then within two or three minutes, they said, we got to get out of here. We marched out with a heavy guard over from there under the tunnel to the Hart building next door. We're there, what, nine hours? Were we concerned? Yeah. We were concerned about the nation first. We, we were safe, basically. We thought, but I thought, I never thought I'd see that in America. Yeah. I never thought that would happen that they would mob, would storm the U.S. Capitol and while the House and the Senate were counting votes for the election, the electoral vote. It never crossed my mind like that, but it was real. i never forget that day. It was uh, something that will be indelibly imprinted, uh, that there's no place for violence here. And uh, we all think about it a lot, and you should.